uh, long overdue video I've been promising for about uh, about a year now, I suppose. So uh, some people are just saying they're having problems setting it up. So we're just going to go over it real fast here. Um, just start with your workbench here, and we'll start with the RGB lights. Let's get some RGB lights out here, just some normal ones like that. So we're going to have eight in total, and you're going to want to start from this side. Do one, two, three, four, and then you're going to want to leave a gap in the middle, and then one, two, three, and four. So we're going to want to set the channel on these, and this is where I assume most people are having issues with their build too. So let's go ahead and start from the left side, which I'm, I called the blue side in my description over here. For the left side, we're going to want numbers 11 for the red hue, 12 for the green hue, and then 13 for the blue hue. And we're going to want to repeat that on all of these here. So just 11, 12, and 13. And let's do this for all of the side, of all of the left side here. And then when you're done with that, we have to do something similar on the right side, except it's just going to have different values in here. So these ones are going to be 14, 15, and 16. So we're going to want 14, 15, and 16. And then repeat this all the way across here. Okay, so now that you have that done, we need to go ahead and install some relays in this system here. So let's put on some relays, and one relay controls one light. Unless you have multiple lights that do the same thing, then it can be on the same one. But they should be positioned correctly too. And for reference, this gap isn't necessary. You can push them right up against each other, you just need to know that there's a left side and there's a right side and there are four lights each for the controller. You can put as many lights there as you want but this is just for the basic model here. So we're gonna want one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna want a main one. We'll just put back here. So now we have all of these eight relays plus the main one back here. We're gonna want to put some power out here so let's get a medium battery here. And then let's get the uh, police controller. Okay, and then we'll just position that like this here for now. And let's go ahead and start hooking up the logic to this. The logic is pretty simple. Actually, before we do that, let's put in the instrument cluster here, your instrument panel. Okay, and let's, let's configure this right off the bat here. So let's go ahead and press select, highlight this, and for instrument number one, we're gonna just want a simple button with a toggle function and this one's we're just going to call it on and off and this one should be on channel let's look it up here channel 10 channel 10 for the on off button for number two this is going to be an arrow button and this is going to be this one and this is just going to face up and we're going to call that up and then this one's going to be a push and that is going to be channel 2. And then this number 3 here, this is going to be a 7 segment display. This is just going to tell us what mode we're on. So I will just call this one mode. And you can change this, but uh, it's going to be a number, so might as well just keep that. And then that one is going to be number 9. And these channels are incredibly important. Not having these channels right on any of this will cause all of the problems that most people are probably having with this. So channel 4, we're going to want to do a arrow button, except this one's going to want to face down. And this one's going to be channel 3, and that's, we'll just call that down. Okay, now that that's all set up, let's go ahead and start hooking up the logic for this. So let's hook up power right off the bat here. We're going to want to directly power the instrument panel, 
and then we're going to want to power the bottom of relay the main relay here and then we're going to want to connect the main relay to each one of the bottom halves of every single one of these relays here and then let's go ahead and connect each relay to the component across from it now in a vehicle you this is quite a few components for a vehicle so you just have to kind of get creative with hiding them and then you just have to remember the basics for hooking these up and you can place them anywhere you want and you can get pretty creative with the way that you put these lights on things here okay now that we have that hooked up let's go ahead and hook up just the normal logic here so on this controller you can see that we have far left is relay number one and that corresponds pretty well with our relay over here so let's go ahead and hook that up and then relay number two is going to be just the one directly next to that same with three and four and then this just goes on. You're going to want to find 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now this one right here is the main relay output, so that one's going to go right there. And now we're done with that. You can hook up this backlight if you want to as well, but I'm not going to do that for this. Now let's switch over to the composite view here, and we're going to want to hook this up. So comp out to lights here, comp out to IC. So there's only there's only a couple hookups here, so let's hook up the instrument panel first. So comp out to lights, we're going to want comp out to IC. That's going to go into the top of the instrument panel. And then we're going to want to pull the data back from the instrument panel on the lower one back to the composite in here. Now we're going to want to hook this one up here, the comp out to lights, to each one of the lights, and they can be in any order here. They just need to be connected. Okay. Now let's go ahead and spawn this in, make sure everything's working here and I did everything right. Okay. So let's go ahead and press the on switch here. And you can see how they're flashing there. Now, I might have put these lights in a backwards order for the first composite channels. So we'll go over that in just a second and make sure that's right. But you can see if you flip this up, you get some different patterns on that. and then all the way up to the point where they will actually be able to change color entirely. Okay. okay, so again, the most important thing and the thing that I think most people are messing up is part of the instrument panel, but I think the big one is actually setting these lights up here. Again, you wanna make sure that your three channels are all set to this on each side. It, it doesn't matter if you switch sides, all that it'll be is the red side will be on one side and the blue side will be on the other. It doesn't make a big difference. You'll see that as the um, yellow light comes across, it doesn't really care where it is in this order. It'll just come across in the same order every time. But uh, yeah, that's it and I hope that helps you guys.